Welcome to Healthy G Moms. Ooh, ooh. Welcome to Healthy G Moms. Aha. Welcome around the world. Welcome to my world. Welcome to Healthy G Moms. Aha. Welcome, you guys. Welcome back to my world. This is Healthy G Mom, and I am here saying holla happy holidays again. It's almost Christmas. Yes, indeed. So today is Wednesday, and so Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Friday is Christmas Eve, and then that Saturday will be the uh, um, Christmas Day, right? So right now in Los Angeles, it is 440. Oh, God, that didn't move. It's 53 here. So, yeah, it's 449, right? 449, I think I got it for you, right? So, 449, and it is a Wednesday at 449, Los Angeles, California time. Um, so, it's already kind of, the sun is getting ready to go down, and we're getting ready to get a major warm uh, rainstorm, you guys, around here in L.A. And I've, I stated before, I love the rain, but I like to be inside the rain. I don't like to go out because people here in Los Angeles, California, they're not used to the rain here, right? That means that they're hydroplating. That means that they're sliding or they don't, they're going fast for nowhere. They're going real fast, but not going nowhere. You know what I mean? And jump in front of you, but I digress. It's better to be inside and allow God to, God, God to do his talk, God to do talking. I don't, so I'm here, and I love the rain, and I already got my buckets already set outside. I don't know if you can see that, but the buckets are already set to collect the rain. So it's supposed to start raining, um, I think, like at midnight or something like that, um, or early, early in the morning. And then, so our Wednesday, or excuse me, our Thursday and Friday, and they say possibly on Christmas Day, that Saturday, that it's supposed to be raining as well. But we need it here because we have a drought. So, um, anyways. But I didn't, I forgot to tell you guys, thank you to all my subscribers, my new and old subscribers. And I'm really thankful for you guys. Thank you for rolling with me and being a part of my life and always encouraging me to keep pushing on. And again, I am in my garden, my beautiful garden that's, Oh my God, it's just so amazing that um, everything is constantly, constantly growing. Now, trial and error, some things are not growing as fast, but I've learned, um, I'm learning patience. This is one thing that I've never really had before in my life. Uh, so I practice on being patient. Um, so the plants that are not growing, as fast as some others are, I just keep giving it love and telling it, hey, it's going to be okay. Be pushing through. So me and my little spray bottles, I just go through it's my little spray bottles and I spray. I spray. I spray my new lemon tree. Look how big that is. Got it on the back there. Got all my little lovely, my, my romaine, my rosemary uh, plant. You know, everything is just really coming along. But I'm here to talk to you guys and show you guys my, um, um, the new thing that I'm going to, that I just got. It's a bag. Well, I didn't just get it. I forgot that when it came in my delivery bag, I didn't see it. I didn't really pay attention to it because I had some other grow bags. So I had a grow bag. I got these grow bags. Remember this grow bag, right? But this grow bag, and these are nice grow bags that open up in the front right it'll open up and let me see here you can see that it opens up and then i can peekaboo and look at certain look at that and i can look at certain my like uh, you can look at your um potatoes and your carrots any root vegetables root vegetables this baby is a great thing but i forgot that i had ordered this one look at this baby right here i can look through this all the way around right look at that look at amazing look how amazing 
you can see, let's see if you can see a little, right? If you can go a little closer, you can see my hand. Okay, let's turn on the, uh, okay. Uh, well, if you can, let me see if this go. There we go. Look at that. You see that? This thing is huge, really big, really big bag. And it's clear all the way around, all the way around. You can see my body. You can see my sweater. Look at that, looking through. You can see my white sweater peeking through because it's a bag that, and it still has a, um, you know, I got dirt in here already. Not dirt, but sand. So it's, it has a peekaboo pouch too, right? So today, I'm going to show you guys in this bag. This is a 10-gallon bag. And I have some some soil already re ready. Now I'm going to be planting some potatoes, right? And these are red potatoes. And why do I think that these red potatoes are ready? Uh, because here we go. Here, let's see here. If you can see a little closer, look at the eyes on these babies. They're already protruding. They're already coming out peekabooing and this one is ready this one is ready look at that look at those soldiers are ready the eye is ready and so i have a tray of red potatoes that i'm going to insert in here and so how it works is you can go and you sit it on top i'm going to put it inside of this grow bag right here, and I'm gonna insert, there's gonna be one, right? It's one grow, one potato, and then we'll go here, two potato. Oh, I, I forgot to tell you, these are store, um, I got these from the, um, was it Sprouts or was it Ralph's? They're organic, um, um, they're organic uh, red potatoes. And the thing about organic, the difference is organic has no pesticides. Right, it's not sprayed with any of that stuff. So that means that anything that's organic, it will sprout, right? Stuff that doesn't sprout, then it's been sprayed, right? Right, so that's why I know these are going to keep going and it's going to grow into a really big tree. Not tree, but a big bush. So we're going to insert here. So all I'm doing is going in and putting them in my, my soil that I already have. And this soil is cocoa peat and potting mix. So there's the cocoa peat, which is, um, which is coconut husk. And then my potting mix that I mix together. This is the potting mix, right? So I had it already mixed in this pot right here. You can see this where my gloves are, right? Um, go right here, if you see that. I got these already kind of dark right there so you can't really see it but I have a, a bucket that I mix if you guys see my look at my other videos I have a big green bucket and what I do is I put the potting mix and the cocoa peat yes indeed and one and I scooped it together and so that's what you'll see here and so I'm gonna put the rest of these potatoes right and all I'm doing again is just taking it and inserting in Okay, let me see if I can put a little light over here so you can see this. There we go. Can you guys see that now? Okay, so I want to see what you can see through. You see if you can see my potato. See that? I just put a potato. Can you see that? Okay, let me see on this side here. Uh, This potato is gonna go inside here. And if you can see that a little closer, that's where they live in. So all the way around, I'll be able to sit, see all of my um, red potatoes as they grow. And reason why I have the soil down so low, so if you notice, the soil is all the way down here. Like you can see the soil. Okay, let me pull this up again so you can see this. See that? See the soil? 
is way down low. Because potatoes, if you guys don't know, potatoes have to be planted deep in the soil because what potatoes do is they rise, right? So you start them low, and as they rise, because potatoes are going to come underneath, they'll, you just keep putting um, soil over it so it keep going. And so I'm going to finish off, keep going here, and all I'm doing is going to be putting, yeah, I'm just putting them in here, and now once I insert them inside of, right, of my container, my grow bag, then I'll just take some more soil, and then I will cover, if you can see this, let me see here, okay, okay that's going, okay, there we go. So that is going to cover all of, right, right, so all of, now it's all covered, right, and so all I have to do is put water, and underneath this, this is a, you can see this part right here, I have a, because this gets wet, uh, this is a container right here, I mean, this is a, a little saucer, I'm not sure what the name of it is, but it's, it will catch the water from going everywhere so it's a this will drain this grow bag is made out of material right and the water that drains from it to keep it moist will drain into this bag right and so all the potatoes are going to be covered all the way around they're going to be all the way covered with it's going to be all the way covered with um more soil to go in here so you too you can plant some potatoes inside your small place big place you don't need that much land that much space to grow I'm showing you guys how I'm making use do of everything that I have most of the stuff I have my plastic potatoes like this was a crystal geyser uh, back, um, bottle that I cut I use it as a scooper. I use it as a bigger scooper to scoop into my big bags. You know, I've got little cups that I have. Plus, that I got my broccoli in. You know, my spoons, old spoons or my shovels. You know, knives, all that type of stuff. So, today was a day that I'm showing you guys how to plant red potatoes and put it in the grow bag and give it mega love inside my small apartment. Aren't you guys happy holidays?